Hello everyone, and sorry for the wait. And we're back again, and this is episode 9. There's only one more episode after this one. And uh, of course, the last episode is going to be pretty special. I want to continue doing Space Engine videos because this is just a really incredible game that needs more visibility. So anyways, this is the Triangulum Galaxy. You can see the Andromeda Galaxy in the background here. We're gonna travel in somewhere. Maybe in these dark areas. And we're gonna find a planet of life. Let's see here. blue planet in a typical solar system. But it looks pretty nice. So we'll go with this. Like most of the planets we've found, this one is very cold, below zero. Here at the surface, you can see this planet has quite the peculiar atmosphere with a, a dark green yellowish tint near the horizon, which I've actually never seen before. Other than that, it looks pretty blue and normal. These canyon features here are brown. A, a slightly rustic brown color. Which is also interesting. Here's an overhead view of the area that we just flew over. Letting you see it a little better. You can probably see why I wanted to check this area out. It's pretty intriguing. All the way on the other side, we can see some lumpy, eerie hills. And I don't know if this is fog or, or just the same atmospheric effects, but it gives it a pretty depressing and creepy look, at least near the horizon. Here we're in orbit over one of the planet's very few deserts. It's not a very spectacular desert, but it's a desert nonetheless. Speaking of deserts, this planet has eight moons, I believe. Actually, seven moons. Six of those are asteroids. So let's, let's take a visit to the desert moon. Here's the desert moon. And as you can see, it's quite unique. I've ne actually never seen features like this on a moon before, or a desert planet. Let's take a closer look. Because of this moon's small size, you can see the curvature from a relatively low height above the ground. Now, brace yourself for a pretty nice view here as the main planet comes into view. I'd say that was a pretty nice way to end this episode. And um, I'll start working on episode 10. I'll probably have some bloopers, something special. It'll be a good planet. Anyways, that's all for this episode. And I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Thanks.